Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Eeple's Box, and welcome to an update video. I am very, very, very pleased to announce that Elgato Game Capture HD have released a feature that I have been asking for since the Game Capture HD came out and I got my first one. This video was made possible by contributions to our Patreon campaign by viewers like you. Thank you. I now have two of them. One of them is a replacement and I love their products, but I have been asking for a feature that actually is present in DX Story that makes DX Story hugely advantageous over Fraps and that is the idea that it has multiple audio tracks that it records at one time. This allows you to record as many audio tracks as you wish and mix and master them separately in post editing on your own instead of relying on balancing them as you record videos. This is usually advantageous towards editing and towards cleaning things up in post production. However, it's one feature that the Elgato software and most game capture, you know, capture card software for consoles have lacked forever. It's something that's actually really hard to manage in capture card software, but just recently, and actually just today as far as recording goes, they've pushed out a beta update, which enabled this feature. I've been begging them for this feature, like I said, since it came out, talking to them on Twitter, talking to their engineers over email. They have finally pushed it out. It is a beta update. It is still in beta, and it is not even available for Mac at the moment. However, it will be in a full release very, very soon. So basically, the idea of this feature is to allow you to record your commentary on a second track and edit it and clean it up or completely delete it if you want in editing and then upload your video you know as such instead of having to and I will show you in just a second instead of having to balance the audio in the software and it, it was it was a pain in the butt and I actually scrapped a few let's plays because my audio got out of sync because I was trying to record it in separate audio software and it wasn't fun, but they've finally updated the software. So to get it, all you have to do is go to gamecapture.com slash beta, and then download and install the update, and then open their software. All right, so when you first get the beta software up and running, you're going to see the little beta icon up here in the corner, and then you're going to see what is normally set up for the audio setup. Now, what you previously had to do, which was a royal pain in the butt, was you had to turn up your mic volume, enable it, turn on automatically reduce game sound, maybe mess with the threshold and attenuation, turn down the game audio, and hope you get a decent balance. Maybe run a few tests, but overall just hope you get a decent game, you know, balance in the audio, and just hope that it worked out. Thankfully, you no longer have to do this, so once you get your thing set up, leave game audio up as high as you want. I put it at negative two so it doesn't go into the red too much. I leave my mic at plus two or three just so it's loud enough to be heard and me not have to amplify it too much test test there we go and then uncheck automatically reduce game sound since our live commentary is going to be on a separate audio track we no longer need the game sound blah, 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 the game sound to dip and pitch so that's no longer necessary set up your regular recording so we're going to be playing bf4 as this test we're just kind of going to let the intro play um and then go up here to this little gear icon for your Elgato settings. Now by default, record live commentary and a separate audio track is already be, gonna be selected because that's the point of this beta. If it is not selected, make sure that's checked as that is what we're going for. Keep in mind that this these options will only work with the YouTube MP4 original and MP, no, it will only work for the Movie Maker MP4 original and MP4 1080p options. If you export it to YouTube, Facebook, anything like that, it will automatically just throw a mix of your game volume and live commentary in there. You do not want that. So in order to do the live commentary stuff, you need to export typically as MP4 original. If you know for sure your video is 1080p, then you can do 1080p. But like Battlefield 4 only runs in 720p on PS3, so we're going to do MP4 original here. And then there's two more checkboxes you need to check. That is mute live commentary and exported video. What that is going to do is when you export your video, it's not going to have the live commentary mixed with the game volume. It's just going to have the game volume. 
and then export live commentary to a separate audio file. It's going to take your commentary and put it in an M4A audio file for you to balance, mix, and master separately in your video editor. Click OK. It may need to reload. It did for me at first. And then you're good to go. Go ahead and hit start recording. Start talking. Do your live commentary. Do your general commentary of things. I'm using the Battlefield 4 intro here because it makes a lot of noise and you can see, you know, that it can be balanced well. Pew pew, jets in a city, guy falling out of a building but still shooting anyway. Battlefield 4, yeah. Stop record. We have about 22 seconds of video. I'm going to clear out my Elgato folder real quick. Go over to the edit tab and you're going to export your video. Here's our test BF4 video here. We're going to export it as MP4 original. And it's going to show that it's processing two files, the live commentary here as the M4A video or audio file, and it'll even add live commentary in parentheses to the file name. And then you're going to have your MP4 video file, which is your gameplay and your game audio. Now open up your favorite video editor for the purposes of this video. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. It'll work just fine in Vegas or any other software. Drag your two files in. You're going to have your game with game audio, pew pew, loud, whatever, and then your commentary with your commentary. Now unfortunately at the moment, which it is somewhat, you know, it is a beta, so hopefully they will get this fixed and I will be sending them feedback myself. It's not 100% in sync. There's a bit of a time difference here. Um, but as far as I know, it records your commentary earlier. So then if we delete this and play it back here, <laughs> Go ahead and hit start recording, start talking, do your live commentary, do your general commentary of things. I'm using the Battlefield 4 intro here because it makes a lot of noise and you can see, you know, that it can be balanced well. Pew pew, Jet City, guy falling out of a building but still shooting anyway. Battlefield 4. And actually, as you can see, that wasn't exactly how that lined up. So if I put it more toward, well, no. Yeah, see, see, generally it's still somewhat a little out of sync. This isn't a huge deal, it's it's less than a second, um, but it may throw you off. So as you could tell, well you might have been able to tell, it wasn't entirely balanced there. So in order to fix that, of course, you can, I don't know where my audio mixer went here, I don't know why it's there. You can mix your audio levels, like turn down the game volume and things like that, and then edit your clip and audition like I normally do, etc. And you're good to go and then you can balance it separately and have a pretty good live commentary recorded on a console video and I think that's freaking fantastic like I said I've been begging them for this feature forever so gamecapture.com slash beta I believe is the website yep download it check it out and send any feedback as it is a beta they're still working on it and it Pretty awesome feature we've needed for a long time. Hope you did enjoy the video, guys. Hope that was helpful to you all. Sorry it was a little choppy. I ran into some issues while trying to explain this. See y'all next time. If you would like to see a tutorial on setting up and optimizing your settings in the Game Capture HD software, let me know. I've been using it for a couple of years now, and I had a couple of people ask me about tutorials for it. I didn't. It honestly didn't even process to me that that would be something people would want tutorials on. So if you would like it, let me know. And otherwise, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye did for me at first and then you're good to go go ahead and hit start recording start talking do your live commentary do your general commentary of things i'm using the battlefield 4 intro here because it makes a lot of noise and you can see you know that it can be balanced well pew pew jets in a city guy falling out of a building but still shooting anyway battlefield 4